minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we have four ready to start, 2, 1. In less than six months between 1952 and 1953, um, we successfully fused nuclei and caused an island in the Pacific to disappear as well as we entered the cell and found the three-dimensional structure of DNA and the genetic code 10 years after. Um, we're going to die here very soon. And by soon, I mean a few hundred years at most, almost certainly. We're having a, a cigar party uh, and a fireworks display while perched on a propane tank. Um, you can see from, for example, the fact that we're all wearing these masks, people haven't even figured out that they're going to have to buy hazmat suits if we start having thermonuclear exchanges. I'm not kidding at all about this. Um, so the new reason to do this isn't the beauty of gazing into the night sky or man's quest to know uh, his place in the universe. If we don't figure out how to spread out, we are running one single experiment with godlike powers and the wisdom of morons uh, based on our current political leadership. There is no way that this terminates well. Furthermore, there is no faster than light travel inside of general relativity. So you can look up at the night sky and you can know more or less that unless you're betting on time dilation and other exotic effects and wormholes, uh, we aren't going any place. There are only three habitable spheres. Now, Bezos and, and Musk are focused on rockets to get us into space. One of us thinks that we can diversify with three spheres. The other seems to think that Gerald K. O'Neill's circular space stations with artificial gravity are the way to go. Bezos actually makes more sense. Neither of these make much sense at all. Um, if we could only get physics to be vaguely phallic in, in shape, loaded with high explosives and, and oxidizers, we could get fully funded. And I think we'd probably have a theory within 20 years. At the moment, nobody seems to be motivated on the idea that you break it, you bought it. Physics has a ton of social responsibility. Uh, we unleashed this power. I, I encourage everyone to read Edward Teller's letter to Leo Zillard at the end of the Manhattan Project. His idea was is that war had to become so unthinkable that we could never have another. And 75 years of this peace have dulled our sensibilities, forgetting that nuclear weapons have not gone away and we've added biologicals. If we're not very careful, we are going to have to go farther through the valley of death that physics has led us into if we are ever to escape, diversify, and have some hope that some of us at least will make it in the long term.